So it may come as a bit of a shock to those watching at home, but apparently Google+, Plus, the social network built and created around the Google ecosystem, is finally closing the doors. Um, often regarded as a bit of a wasteland or a ghost town, Google+, Google Plus has never really gotten the traction that other social networks have. Though there was a brief period where a good portion of technology bloggers and communicators kind of showed up on Google+, though most of them have gone to, to Twitter and kind of recently towards Mastodon, which for those who don't know, I'm going to rep them again. Mastodon is a decentralized social network similar to uh, Twitter. Highly recommended. I'll have links to my thing on all my videos and shit. It's my go-to social network. But we're not talking about Mastodon today. We're talking about Google Plus and the death of Google Plus. Now, if you've been watching my videos, because I've been making videos for over 10 years, you'll know at one point I was gung-ho Google Plus. I was deep in it. I really thought, and I don't think I was alone on this one, that Google was going to be that corporation that really embraced open source. They built an open source operating system with Android, and then again with Chrome OS. Almost certain that there was going to be this, Apple had the iOS and Mac OS operating system, Microsoft had Windows, and Google. Google would embrace Linux. Well, they did internally, but in reality they did not. They never came out with their fabled drive for Linux. That never happened. Not in the traditional sense, anyways. Third-party programs were built up that do the same thing, but no Google-approved applications ever became a thing. It really looked like that Google was constantly flirting with the Linux and the open-source community, but at the end of the day, we just kind of got friend-zoned. <laughs> um... So this brings me back to the death, the death of Google+. Was it a good social network? Meh. Had a lack of APIs. There was only one Google+, Plus application you can use. The web UI, though was functional, usually brought a cell phone's web browser down to a very slow crawl. According to this article, 90% of Google Plus user sessions lasted less than five seconds. Which I'm not sure, is that just how long it took the browser to load the page? I don't know. Um, was it a terrible social network? No, they came up with some great technologies that they eventually diced off into other networks and other parts of the Google ecosystem. But at the end of the day, Google Plus didn't really have a use. And so I tip my hat to Google Plus, bid farewell, and if you need me, I'll be over here on the Mastodon where uh, one company can't really pull the plug on it. So, all right, guys, till next time, peace.